Enforce APLC 200 lumens, essentially the Gen 1 version of this particular compact weapon light. Had it for a few years now. Enforce Wild 1 Gen 2 of this compact weapon light, 500 lumens, had it for about 6 months now. Now both of these weapon lights have different specs on their feature set, however they are both similar in shape as well as size, but not quite the exact same size. They are very slim weapon lights, that's kind of their claim to fame. Years ago, APLC was kind of the go-to if you wanted something with flat, slim sides. Normally you have some kind of a quick release on the side or some type of spring mechanism where the screw is to hold it onto the rail. But these don't have that, these just have a single screw straight through two buttons to activate on or momentary on wild one same look and feel although slightly bigger and also a different type of material for the actual housing but similar buttons if not a little bit more tactile now with removing either one of these you have a screw on the left side here and if you grab a handy dandy 762x54R, you can go and crank that screw off, get it started, and this one has a tension rod in there that expands and contracts one of the rail pieces here, which is not something you'll see on the APLC. But when you take these off, that's when really you can kind of see the difference in these. Taking off the APLC, very similar in terms of a side flathead screw right here. You can use the rim of a cartridge or you can go and grab a flathead screwdriver or whatever you have on hand. Possibly a thin coin would work. But how they're installed on here seems to work very well for either one of these. I haven't had too many issues. But this one does have a screw that is not under tension so you pull it straight out and then slide the light straight off the end and it has a metal part on the other side that essentially is a metal captured nut to hold this in place. Full disclosure, I did buy both of these. Enforce didn't send them to me and in fact this Gen 1 that I've had for a few years is the second one I've had due to a warranty claim about maybe like six months into using this one that I got all those years ago, and I, I think I was running on my Smith & Wesson Compact 2.0, it actually stopped working entirely, it just stopped. Changed the battery out, nothing. Cleaned it out, make sure nothing got stuck in there, no gunk or anything is inside somehow, nothing. So, let's take a closer look. Up close, you can really tell the difference between these two right here. This one is just a little bit small, the APLC versus the new Wild one. You have a fiber composite construction, and you have a 6061 T6 aluminum construction right here. Single bolt design, except this is more of a clamp tension rod right here, where this is a straight bolt that slides off and on the rail. And you can really tell the size, this being a little bit bigger. And that is because this runs off of a CR2 battery. This runs off of a CR123A battery, which is a little bit more common, I think, nowadays. And how you access it is pretty nice. You don't have to remove the weapon line and pull it out of the back or anything like that. It's actually a nice sealed front cap, which is nice because this is a waterproof one right here. Wild one, 66 feet of waterproofing. But these are readily available. These CR123As Energizer Lithium is what comes with it. 
You can kind of see that right there. Nice rubber gasket. Simple to switch out. Tighten down. Where is the Inforce APLC? This is again the CR2, but because it is a fiber composite, this one is actually only rated for water resistant, but it's a much smaller, a little bit harder to find type of battery, the CR2. And of course, being smaller, it gives you only 1.5 hours of runtime, whereas this one gives you two hours of runtime. And 200 lumens, the old one. Wild one, 500 lumens, pretty nice. Let's take her outside. Up first, APLC, fence is 10 yards away. Too bad, but only 200 lumens. Now before I show you the wild one with 500 lumens, the link to pick up this particular light will be down below. So be sure to check that out. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, check us on Instagram and Facebook. And also if you have any questions about the wild one, because here she is, be sure to hit them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. So that's 500 lumens, 10 yards. And APLC, wild one. Kind of see APLC has a nice rounded hot spot there. Wild one, a little bit whiter color, but also a bigger, brighter hot spot. Now, because of the slight sizing difference, you will need your own holster for this. And you can also see it's kind of squared off versus rounded here. So you'll need a custom holster to take the wild one. You can't just throw it in the old APLC. I talked to the guys over at Enforce back at SHOT Show 2020 about this next generation of weapon lights. So it took a good couple of years to actually hit the market from a concept, but I think they definitely did a better job with this one over the Gen 1. I like the slim design. I think this is more durable, a bit stronger with that design of the body. And of course, the fact that it is aluminum is a very nice thing to see. And I haven't had any hiccups with it at all. It's been reliable no real issues to kind of report back other than the fact that you can't use the holsters that you had for the APLC but they needed the space to get that bigger battery in there pump a little bit more lumens a little bit more battery life out of this so thanks so much for watching take care